What is going on guys? Welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn how to do natural sorting in Python. So let us get right into it. All right, so you might be asking yourself, what is natural sorting and why do I need to know about it? So I want to get right into it with an example. Let's say we have a simple Python list that contains a couple of strings and we want to sort this list. And let's say that the strings contain uh, numbers. So let's say we have a string five, we have a string six, we have a string one, we have a string 11, we have a string 16, and then maybe we have eight. And the thing is now if I go ahead and just say print sorted and list one, so the basic sorted function in Python, what you see is that the sorting happens based on the characters and not based on the numerical value. So we have one, 11, 16, five, six, eight even though it should be 1, 5, 6, 8, 11, 16. Now you might say, okay, in this case, it's very simple. You just typecast all of them into integers, you sort it, you typecast it back into strings. However, this is not always possible. So let's say we have another list, list two, and this list contains numerical values, but not only numerical values, something like four feet, two inches, or something like six feet, two inches, or something like uh, one feet, seven inches, or something like 11 feet, um, eight inches, and so on, we can keep going, we can do something like 16 feet, two inches, whatever. If I want to sort this list, what you will see is that again, it's sorted one feet, 11 feet, 16 feet, four feet, six feet, because the one is the first character. And this is what what happens when you sort based on the characters. And this cannot just be typecasted, we would have to apply some more advanced stuff, or we would have to do some formatting We would have to extract the numbers and then do the sorting. It's easier to use natural sorting. And for this, there is a package called nat sort. So what you have to do is you just have to open up your terminal, pip or pip three install nat sort. And this package allows you to easily do natural sorting, which can be very useful if you have a data set, you, you know, you're working on a um, on a data science or machine learning project, you want to sort the data based on this. And let's say you have, you know, uh, a data set about people, it says height, and you have the height like this. Now, of course, with height, you won't have 11 feet, but maybe you have uh, not humans, but you have, I don't know, buildings or something. And then it makes sense to have the sorting happen naturally. So what we're going to do now, or actually, I'm going to keep all this, what we're going to do is we're going to say from that sort, import nat sorted, and then we can compare the output of nat sorted to the output of sorted in both cases here. And you can see here nat sorted gives me one five six eight eleven sixteen and it gives me one feet seven inches, four feet two inches, six feet eleven feet and sixteen feet in the correct order. Whereas this is what the Python default function gives me. Now this also works for other examples. Let's say I have a list of version numbers, let's say I have something like version dash and then um, 1.2.3. And then I have version dash 2.4. And then I have version 11.2.8. And then I have version, I don't know, 12.2 uh, or something. Um, obviously, the correct order is the order that we have right now. So maybe let me just mess up the order a little bit. So we have something to sort something like uh, 4.5, for example, here. Um, if I print sort it list three, again, you can see 1.2, 11.2, 12.2, .2, and then four, that is not the correct order. However, if I go nat sort it, you will have the correct order 1.2, 2.4, 4.5, 11.2, 12.2. So this is a very easy way to sort uh, a list or a collection of values naturally. Now we don't only have this, we also have something else in this package called real sorted, which can be very useful if you have, for example, a list like this, let's say list four is equal to and what we're going to have here is we're going to have a, cu a couple of numerical values mixed together with strings. So we have 1.2 as a string here, we have negative three as a string here, we have two, we have 2.8, we have negative one, and we have maybe something like uh, negative uh, 3.1. So if I go ahead now, and I just sort this list, 
with a sorted function in Python, you will see I get an error message type error because we cannot compare integers and strings. But even if I go with a nat sorted, you're going to see that this is not the correct order, we get negative one, we get 1.2, 2, 2.8, negative 3, negative 3.1, which is not correct, if I want to sort by value. So what I can do is I can do real sorted. And then I get negative 3.1, negative 3, negative 1, 1.2, 2, 2.8, even though we have into uh, or actually floating point numbers, integers and strings mixed in the same collection. So that's also a nice thing. Another thing that is useful is, uh, and this is another function here called human sorted. Uh, because let's say we have a list list five. And this list contains a bunch of different words, something like banana, something like, uh, I don't know, uh, band, something like book, something like Apple, something like uh, clown, something like computer. If I go ahead now and I say list five or sorted list five, what you see here is that it's sorted because uh, the default Python sort prioritizes uppercase letters. So we get band and computer first and apple banana book clown. And I think that nat sorted is also not going to produce the correct result. There you go. Uh, because of the same reason. However, if I go ahead and I say human sorted, it's going to be sorted the way a human would sort it just by the first letter, regardless of whether it's uppercase or lowercase. So apple banana book band clown computer. And finally, just a quick little thing that I want to show you is you can also actually use OS sorted to get a um, representation of the content of a directory in a more intuitive way. So import OS. And the default way that the directory is shown is I can say OS list directory, and then just the default path here. And you can see I have root var, uh, lib 64, and so on just all the stuff uh, mixed. And what I can do now is I can say print OS sorted OS list dir slash. And now I have it sorted alphabetically. So you can see I have bin boot def, etc. And so on. So yeah, this is just a quick little package that I want to show you can be very useful for data science tasks for sorting data frames uh, easily in a natural way. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.